It's arrived. It's time to break into it. I'm going in. I'm going in. There it is. It's a crazy rabbit. Oh, let's break into it. Ooh. Feels nice to be fair, and it's sturdy. All proper hard. Excellent. Just breaking in, look. All proper hard inside as well. Bottle holder for the side. And it's strapped. Oh. So we'll get this beast on the bike. Attach the bottle holder to the side. So it looks like. This will go like that. So these straps, these two will feed through here. Like so. Then you feed these back through these loops. Then obviously, depending on how big the bottle you want to carry is, and then just put them through the buckles. Couple of holes on there, look, to make it nice and tight for a little bottle, like a coke bottle or something. Or if you're a gym monster like me, get your protein shaker in there. Ooh, yeah. Top bit then, yep, straight through there. Bring it down, Do you see that? Straight in one end. Boom! Don't even aim it. And that's it, pretty much. With a buckle. And you've got them just tight down. There we go. comes down to mounting it on the bike so basically it's going to follow the, the flow or the lines I should say of the bike down this way so you've been mounting it on here then like that right then I've taken the cover off there my next problem This extra plastic guard here on mine. Oh, I'm gonna have to squeeze it back. Which I should be able to do with a bit of force to get the straps through. This just pops out, look, little plastic clip. There's rubber mouth. So I've got first strap under the frame. Look. That's the uh, second strap through. Basically, run your buckles through the back lot. And you, you bring the straps out the back and then they go back through the bottom hole and you can tighten them up. Now the bottom one, or I should say the lowest one, is a bit of a dick to fit anywhere. Uh, I've seen some people wrap them around here. I won't put it on there because that's flexible. You might be able to get it through the bottom of your tray if you took your battery cover out, maybe. Now the top two are going to be the ones that's the most secure. So I'm just going to wrap the bottom one around this because that is pretty solid. But obviously I'm going to keep it slightly loose. Whereas the top two I'm going to keep tight. I think this one will just be like a locator to stop it flapping and then just keep an eye on it. So yeah, just bring your straps back through the holes and then put your bike back together before you tighten them up. Put your bike back together and we'll just protect the top when you put your screws in so you don't scratch it. And then pull them tight. So it's located, look. It's pretty much lined up. Oh, yeah. And then do the buckles. All tightened up. I just roll them flaps on the back so they don't catch when you put stuff in. And then, jobs are done.
There we go. All snug. The only thing I will say is if you've got a big fat ass like me, one of these big sundown seats, damn. So it looks better on a bobber seat type of thing, but at the end of the day, I'm going for a long cruise on this. For a long weekend, so I just want something to put my daily sandwiches in and me drink while I'm driving around. Now, I can't take it for a test drive because it's not a mod. So what I can do is I can see what fits in there. But, need to go to the gym? Proper thirsty? Fancy a bit of drinking and driving? Maybe you need to wash your hair. Diet Coke break. Gotta wash them pots. Because you've been told. Because you're a ninja. Yeah, you gotta go to work. Take your laptop. Might get hungry. Need some cake. It's red hot, mate. <laughs> Let's have some barbecue hot dogs. I'm going to my mum's for dinner, so I'm taking my plate. Oh, I'm always gonna take my vans with me. You're having a laugh, mate. I'm too old to skateboard. In you get, in you get. Go on, good girl. I've got a tech dog for a walk. Go on, get it, get it. Ah.